All right, welcome back to the second map, Battle League map. This week, um, we are still against Seppo. Uh, we've just played Bulgaria, and Seppo hasn't played yet. Um, but now I'm going to play the second map, which is going to be five random countries. And the countries that there will be will be Poland, uh, there will be Hungary, there will be Greece, there will be Kenya, and there will be Germany. Um, of those three, I think Kenya is probably the nicest one. Um, Hungary and Poland can be iffy, and Greece and Germany are just terrifying with... Um, how hard it can be to find like sort of general where you are and I've got very little experience um, figuring out German road signs or Greek islands so fingers crossed that those ones aren't going to be too hard I'm hopeful for Kenya, I'm hopeful for Hungary and Poland um, but we'll see how it all goes alright and I think it's one per location so this ain't Kenya um, and this is Greece, we start off in Greece Okay, Neochori and Drosopigi Um, yeah, but those are both so close and small that I don't think this is actually going to matter at all. <laughs> uh, well, for what it's worth, this is looking like mainland. From my limited experience with the Greek mainland. Ooh, oh uh, no, I thought that was 35. Scutari, that doesn't have a number next to it, maybe that's findable. But Pagan Paganea and Calivia, Scutari... I wasn't particularly hopeful. Um, Greece is just hard. Greece is so hard. Beach, Varvara Port, um, and Vordona Kalamaki. That's useful. And Githio and Eropoli are pretty far away. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that I've been placed in an area with lots of signs, at least. Beach, Vordona Kalmaki, and Varvara Port. I'll look for those. Vordona Kalmaki, Varvara Port. This is going to be a very boring part of the video. <laughs> oh man, I really hope I don't scroll past it. rough thing is that this you could just find this you know like if Seppo finds this like points automatically essentially because it's looking rough at the moment Kithio and Eropoli doubt I'll find those either I'll just check Crete just in case The thing is, Varvara actually sounds somewhat familiar, and I can't place why. I might just go near Argos. Um, yeah. I took a bet, I tried scanning, it didn't work, um, and I'm paying the price now. Oof. Oh no, Europoli was actually so big and findable, and I passed right by this. In my defense, the... Um, in my defense, the names of the beaches weren't actually visible from that far out. That sucks. Um, should have looked for Aeropoli, really, that was visible at that level. But, you know, I got closer than I could have. I could have gone up near Thessaloniki. I could have gone, like, you know, in one of the islands. And I, I at least I got in the right part of Greece. So 4,300, it's not the best. And Seppo's pretty good at these uh, five country maps. So we'll see how things go in the next few rounds. This is looking like uh, bad. Is this the German one? Ooh, thank God. I see Bremen. I know what city we're in. Haha. -ha. This is already better than <laughs> the Greece one. We're north of the Bremen city center. And in fact, 6 and 74 near 27. 6 is here. Uh, 
That's probably good enough. So what's this? Um, that way is Oldenburg. So that's a 34, Oldenburg. And 74, okay, where's the 74? It's up here, so we're up here. Um, interesting. That honestly could just like be what the road we're on was. Could it be? No, maybe not. Um, 74. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, oh, but this could be the road, question mark. What's down here? Let's take a look. It curves, it, it keeps curving. Do we eventually hit intersection? That doesn't seem right. So this is not where we are. Um, this could be where we are. No, not really. Um, what could this all be? 47 seconds left. Um, this actually, no, this is not a big intersection. I don't know why I was looking at that, like, huge intersection area. This is not big. Um... Oh man. It's not big, it's just 74. Ugh, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, that's not right, but I don't know what, um, where we actually. Oh my god! We were all the way out here. Dang. Uh, well, that's my bad. Um, ooh, I should have gone west and found the river. Spent too long, um, yeah, spent too long uh, scanning as usual instead of actually finding more information. That's my bad. It's not going the best, but I'm not going to let it tilt me. I'm still going to do my best for these next two rounds. And this is either Poland or Hungary. This is Poland. Um, that was a Polish sign. So is that one. Now this is going to be rather fun, because if I don't find anything, then it is just a random plonk in Poland. And that's not going to be particularly fun. Ah! Good. 42... So we look through Poland for the fours. Where are the fours? I see some fours. Fours look like they're on here. There's the 42, Namistwof and Kluchbork. 42, Namistwof and Kluchbork. Okay. We're going north to hit this. What's that? Markotov Mati. Great. Or Maui. So that means we started here. And that looks maybe like it's going to be our intersection. Or this one. Let's see. Yeah, that seems like that, so this must be where we started. And bingo, that is a 5k, pretty fast. Haha, -ha. take that, Pushtetli. All right, let's do round four. We are in Kenya. 
And this is uh, rather interesting. Could this be um, one of the Mombasa bridges? I mean, that sure looks like it'd be ocean. Like one of these? What's the angle? Um, that doesn't really match super well. All right, let's let's go down south. And see what we get. I have been psyching myself up for the Kenya one, so fingers crossed this goes well. Creek Garden, Kitui. Yeah, Mombasa. We are Mombasa. Off of the Bumba Road. But where's the bridge? Could we be on, could we have been on this bridge? Doesn't make a ton of sense now. Hmm. Off Lubumba Road. And right now, we went south. Yeah? Yeah. That's a ferry. I keep thinking it's a. It's gonna be a. Now this is worrisome, because I'm not entirely sure what bridge we're on. Um... I don't think it's that. Like, this is pretty clearly Mombasa. Well, of course it is. I just saw that it said Mombasa. But, like, where is this? That's not right. That's definitely not right. Um, is there a bridge I'm not seeing? Like, that's definitely not it. Um, the whole... Yeah, the angle is not right at all, but I don't know where else this could be. Unless we're in Mombasa province and we're here. Oh, we're probably here. Yeah, 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 we're there. Um, and a bit north. Nice, okay. Whew. I'm so glad that I thought at the last second to look past the city of Mombasa and into the, um, the, like, the general area beyond Mombasa. And Khalifi is over there. I should have looked at that as well. But yeah. You know what, that's a 5k, we're not looking back, we're going to continue, and our last round should be in Hungary. Yep, certainly looks, uh, unfortunately, a, a tad gloomy and cloudy, which is what a lot of Hungarian coverage looks like. A bit unfair, because Hungar Hungary like has a beautiful countryside. All right, we can go in west, hitting the main thoroughfare of T. Boldarok. That sounds Irish. If ever you want it proof. All right, I'm just gonna try to run until I find a sign pointing to other cities nearby. I hope T. Boldarok is the name of this city. Yes. Shold Koshegin. Falu. Um. Hmm. Trying to see if I can find anything there. Alright, I'm gonna go until it hits like 120. I'm gonna go for 25 seconds down this road. Maximum. Then I'm gonna turn around and go east. Doesn't look like a small town, but it's certainly not the kind of city that would show up at a pretty wide zoom. What's that? Eight. I don't know if that will matter in the long run. Did I go north or did I go south? 
I go south. I'm going to assume I went north. Which is probably the case because this doesn't look familiar. Did we get anything? Nope, we are just in hilly, the hilly part of Hungary. Maybe it's time just to start looking. The clue maybe is that this is hilly Hungary. Got 20 seconds to find an impossibly small city. And that's, oh man. Okay, yeah. Wasn't gonna find that. I guess if I went south, like, um, a lot. I get what I really should have done though is plonked where it was more hilly like I was trying to go for a central hedge but really the hilly part of Hungary is in the north and probably could have uh, thought that through a little more but by the time I realized it you know the game was basically over anyways that is 23590 um, again not the best score suppose not a bad geoguessor player either so I'm sure that you know I might get out, like, I'm, I'm sure that it's very possible that I might get outscored in rounds one and five. Um, rounds three and four, I'm pretty happy with. Round three, I'm very happy with. Round four, should have realized earlier. Round two, that was just a huge blunder on my part that I just didn't um, move around more. But um, week eight is now done for me. Um, hopefully, Seppo plays soon. Um, and I will upload this when Seppo does. And until then, I'll see you next time for week 9 when we'll be playing Farabon in France and U.S. Islands, I think. Which is going to be a fun um, double home map for us. Which is scary because Farabon's a great Geobester player. And I'm going to bet that Farabon's U.S. playing is better than my French playing. We'll see what happens, though. See you then.